So Stefano, can you tell me a bit about yourself and your role in EERC? Yes, Robin. Um, I am a professor of conservation genetics, which essentially means that we employ uh, the knowledge of population genetics and we apply it to the conservation of biodiversity. So you've done a lot of research on aquatic organisms. Why are you particularly interested in those? Um, to some extent, I think it's innate. You are born with certain predispositions. Someone loves to be thrown into space. I personally always had this fascination about what lives underwater. And since I was a very tiny little kid, every time I was spending some time in front of a bay or a lake or a river, I had this incredible drive to just imagine what the animals were doing there. How many animals, what type of animals live there? And how can I get closer to them? And so you learn to snorkel, you learn to fish, to get this closer contact with this, this, this world, this foreign world for us. So where has your research taken you around the world? So I've done a bit of research almost in every ocean around the world. Uh, I am originally from Italy, so uh, the Mediterranean has been the, the mainstay of my studies. I still have a lot of projects in collaboration with Mediterranean-based researchers, but I had the chance to work on projects uh, such one where I was sampling sex-changing fish in South Africa and in Natal, in the Caribbean to sample sharks. So actually, yeah, I can, I can consider myself quite happy. So, what do you think your most significant findings have been? Without, without any doubt, I would say probably my work on seafood mislabeling uh, is the one that, that, that had the greatest impact also outside academia because um, it's something that every person in the world can relate to. Uh, beginning to understand that uh, the fillet of fish you've just purchased might not be that species of fish. So thanks very much for talking to us about your research today, Stefano. Thank you very much, Robin.